What's up, y'all? It's Tyson Ted Warfare. That's a great day to be alive. Yo, we need to start being more thankful for life. Remember that. Hey, you ever been, like, torn? I'm not talking about, like, a relationship torn, but, like, torn between devices. Well, that's where I am right now. So, I'm typically using my beloved iPad Mini 6. I mean, it's not perfect, right? It could be a little bit bigger. The screen could be better, blah, blah, blah. So, yesterday, I went to the Apple Store to pick up an order for a friend of mine, and I walked out with... An iPad Air 5. Well, the reality is, is I'm an Apple snob and I wanted to test it out because it's new. So that's what we're going to do. So now that this is improved, it's got the M1 chip, it's got all these other little small improvements. I want to see, can this bad boy steal me back from the iPad Mini 6? Because this, hey, this is Bay right here. Let's get it. I got my man CJ Unplugged playing on both tablets. So, and to be honest, these screens look identical to me. Uh, one does not seem like it's brighter than the other. They look pretty much the same, but also this is something that you need to consider when choosing one or the other. Screen real estate. Pay attention how on the iPad Air 5, how much extra space content is down here versus the iPad Mini 6. Now, aside from that, I can't tell any difference in screen quality, although the iPad Mini 6 let me get my polishing cloth out the way, has higher PPI. So the resolution on the iPad mini 6 is actually, from a pixel per inch perspective, better than the iPad Air 5. But I can't tell a difference at all. Let me try that Costa Rica video. This is the one that all the YouTubers play when they want to do like a screen uh, test or whatever. So let's click it on both and then see if there's any difference. I mean, you tell me, but to me, they look... They look identical. I feel like the biggest difference is going to come like based off of what you're doing, right? If you're just browsing the web and stuff like that, it's not a big deal. I mean, a nicer screen is bigger, don't get me wrong, but it's not like a huge deal. But if I'm doing stuff like video editing or if I'm editing a lot of photos, the extra screen real estate absolutely will come into play. So I'm going to load up LumaFusion with two or three video clips on both tablets and see how much difference it is like from a timeline perspective. Also, we'll test the export speed. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Since this one has the M1 and this one is the A15 Bionic, we'll test it out to see which one exports faster. So let me set that up real quick. Now, you know what? Before we do that, I'm really hungry. I'm about to eat. I'm gonna put some tomatoes in this turkey and rice right here. Then a little bit of sub sauce. I'll just be making stuff. This is Cajun turkey. Rice sub sauce with tomatoes. What song were you just singing? You didn't talk about Bruno. But you do know you're talking about him, right? You know the whole time you're singing, we don't talk about Bruno. Guess what you're doing? Guess what you're doing, Germany? Talking about Bruno. Talking about Bruno. All right, so obviously, look, everybody's use case is different. I think I need to like define mine real quick. So I typically use my iPad for like media consumption, actually a lot of media consumption, um, photo editing, video editing, and you know, that's pretty much it. Everything else I kind of do on my MacBook. But although this may not apply to you, I wanted to share my perspective on why I love the iPad mini so much because I'm typically using it for stuff like this to like surf, you know, while I'm eating. And it's so much easier to just handhold this like this in one hand versus carrying around this cookie sheet to try to view your content on. So I love the Mini 6 because it's like an in-between between your phone and a bigger iPad or a MacBook, but it's still very, very portable. And for me, especially with me using it all the time to like watch YouTube and surf Twitter and stuff while I'm eating, in this regard, the iPad Mini is a lot better for me. Come here. One so you Alright, if you had to pick a tablet, do you like the little one or do you like the big one? Do they have like the same amount of storage? Do they have the same amount of storage? Yes, they do. Wait, is, are they seeing the price? Just pick one. Which do you like better, the big one or the small one? Uh, big one. You like the big one? Yeah. Really? Why? Because it has it's big, and if like you're watching a show, you can see it like way better on it. Okay, that's fair. Now get your water out of here before you spill it all over Daddy's gadgets. Mm. One thing that I don't care about is benchmarks. I don't give a crap about them. But one thing I do care about is transfer speeds and 
export speeds and stuff like that because I'm constantly using my iPad all day every day to do photos and reels and stuff like that. So I know that the M1 is faster, obviously, but how does it translate to real world speed and doesn't make a difference? What is my daughter yelling about versus the iPad mini six? I'm curious to know. Let's find out. You know, I really wish iOS had a clear all function. And if it is a way to do it, I sure don't know it. But this is so annoying. But I want this to be a fair test, so I'm going to close everything out, okay? So, I got the T7 connected. Sorry if you can't hear my audio that good. But let's go to the T7, which is right here. And I'm going to copy this test forward. I'm going to open it up real quick so you can see that there's stuff in here. So, I'm going to copy this, right? Now, what I'm going to do is paste this to my internal folder on my iPad. So three, two, one, paste. 57 seconds to transfer that. Now, if we open up this folder, this is not even a lot of data. So two gigabytes, maybe about six gigabytes total of data. Let's do the same thing with the mini six. So let's not safely disconnect. So annoying, oh my God. Okay, minute 15 seconds. Okay, so y'all saw it. The iPad mini took about a minute and 15 seconds, whereas the iPad Air 5 took 58 seconds. Now, both are a lot slower than I thought, but that's a pretty significant difference. Let's do some app launches. As you can see, I have no apps open on either of them. Let's go to Netflix first. Bam. Neck and neck. Lightroom. Air 5 took the cake. Luma Fusion. Air 5 was just a hair faster. Let's go to Affinity. Air 5 was about a half second faster. Let's go to Photoshop. That was about the same. How about Maps? Let's go to Maps. Air 5, just a little bit faster. How about Twitter? Air 5 again. And then lastly, let's go to YouTube. Definitely the Air 5. Um, am I in here? Okay, obviously the Air 5 is faster, but not as fast as you would think. The last thing I want to do is an export test in LumaFusion. So what I got here is LumaFusion queued up. Now these are heavy files. These are out of the Sony a7 IV. So these are 4K, 60, 10-bit, 422, 200 megabits per second. And I'm going to do an export test. So I got the exact same thing as you can see. Well, you probably can't see, but the duration is 4 minutes, 30 seconds on both. And we're going to pick Ultra for both. Everything else stays the same. Let's see which one wins. So let's go ahead and hit it. Bam. Oh, iPad Air 5 is finished. Let me get the camera back up here. Oh, no, no. I almost crashed and burned. Okay, so as you saw, although we almost just dropped the A7S 3 that would have been a disaster. Uh, the M1 iPad Air cooked it. It had at least a 45 second lead. Now even with that being said, the Mini is not a slouch whatsoever. I mean, we knew that the iPad Air was going to cook it. It's got a whole M1 in there. But if you're considering either one of these for serious creation um, or anything like that, the iPad Air is obviously the better choice. You know, it's got the more powerful processor. It's got more RAM. It's got the bigger screen. Yeah. So that's that. Hey, I want you to listen to both of these iPads and tell me which one you think is louder. Now listen to this one. They sound similar. All right, what'd you say? They sound similar. They sound pretty much the same? Mm-hmm. All right, so that's wifey. She's like not a tech snob. They sound pretty much the same. Not something I think you need to consider. See, real quick, here go the other thing. Like, if I were to pull out a full-size iPad at this restaurant, say hi. Say hi, man. If I were to pull out a full-size iPad at this restaurant, I would look like a straight D-bag. But 
I don't run, I only pull out a mini one. So, hey, another, another W for the iPad Mini 6. Housekeeping? Housekeeping? Hey, welcome back, man. Hey, thanks. Good morning. Good morning. So I'm at Tech Gear Talk's house, right? In this old rocking chair. This is mad comfortable. But he reviews and uses a lot of iPads. It has a mini and an iPad Air 5. The one, you know, I brought for him from the Apple store. All right, what do you think the biggest differences are? Well, first, you're really close to me. So I think both are excellent options, uh, but if you really want a productivity device, then that's where the iPad Air 5 really comes into play. You can attach it to the Magic Keyboard or Logitech has some really good options. Ooh, ooh, say that again. It's compatible with the Magic Keyboard and with a few options from Logitech. And, and the iPad Mini 6 is just too small. I mean, you can get external keyboards for it that are not attached, but if you want a dedicated keyboard case, Magic Keyboard, you got trackpad, um, it's just so much easier to type on. I feel like I get a lot more done on this iPad when I compare it with the iPad mini six. All right, so let me ask you a question. Okay. Which one do you prefer? So if I could only pick one, I would go with the iPad Air 5 because I feel like the mini six is close enough to my cell phone where I can get by by doing some of those things on my iPhone, whereas like the iPad Air 5 is a completely different device. It's way bigger. It's much better for viewing content. I can do lots of different things on it that I don't want to do on my phone. I think I prefer the mini. So if you weren't a creator and you only had one iPad, this you would you choose this size over this size. So he just asked me if I wasn't a creator, which size would I choose? I think this question gets a little hairy because I think the question should be if I didn't have a MacBook Pro. If I didn't have a MacBook Pro and this was gonna be my primary device, then I would probably go for the iPad Air 5 with the keyboard. Cause that's as close as you can get to a computer solution without a computer. But because I have a MacBook Pro, I don't need another device that has a keyboard and all that stuff. So for me, the mini like makes more sense. I accept that. Okay. That's, that's a good, that's a good argument. Because if you already have a laptop, if you already have a MacBook and you're not really looking for a MacBook replacement, then you're just using both of these as tablets. And then it makes sense. It's just whichever one's more comfortable for you. And maybe you appreciate the portability of the mini six over the larger display on the air five. All right. Last question. All right. Now that, now that you've got that out, do you prefer space gray? Or do you prefer the blue one? Oh, the blue. Who gets space oh gray? Oh my God, get out of here, It's not dude. an iPad Pro. Look. You gotta have fun with the color. Oh, all right, one thing I feel like people don't talk about enough when it comes to like tablets is bedability. I don't even know if that's a real thing, but I use this in the bed all the freaking time, especially like before I go to sleep. It's a bigger experience than my phone because I hate watching content and stuff on my phone. But it's not so big where if I have this bad boy right here, the iPad Air 5, and I fall asleep, this thing is going to fall and break my freaking nose. Like, this is not going to break my nose. You know, the more and more I use both of these iPads, the more and more I'm starting to feel like. The iPad Mini 6 is just a tiny version of the iPad Air 5. Okay, so here's what I'm talking about. I'm going to make this part quick. I'm sorry about the monitor flickering in the background. I promise next video we're going to get that all straightened out, okay? But iPad Mini 6 to iPad Air 5, these things are so freaking similar. It makes no sense. A lot is the same about them. Same camera system on both, minus the iPad Mini 6 having the little flash on it. The same screen technology, the same fingerprint reader, same speaker layout. Uh, the only difference is this one is bigger, obviously, and it has M1 in it, where this one has a15 bionic and this one is smaller how does that translate to real world use listen ipad air 5 has m1 in it which also means it has faster transfer speeds but in actual real world use as we saw earlier in the video the a15 bionic is no slouch whatsoever and i feel like this chip in here is fast enough to handle whatever you throw at it i've never had a slowdown or anything with the ipad mini 6 and i've edited full videos on here batched exported hundreds of lightroom photos at the same time and i never felt like it was slow right but obviously 
the Air 5 and the M1 chip inside is faster and is better. So if you're doing things on a daily basis, such as video editing, transferring files, you're doing that all the time, then yes, the speed advantages will pay off. But if you're not doing that stuff often, you're not gonna notice any difference when it comes to speed. So just keep that in mind. If you decide to go with the Mini 6, don't feel like you're missing out because this thing is still fast enough, still has enough RAM to take care of everything you need to take care of. It really boils down to this. Which one do you prefer? Where are you gonna be doing with it when it comes to screen size? And do you need to connect something like the Magic Keyboard? Do you wanna connect the keyboard? Or are you okay with connecting something via Bluetooth and stuff like that? So. You got one that's bigger, you got one that has more RAM, you got one that has a faster processor, but the trade-off is it is bigger, and that's a disadvantage for some people, whereas the Mini 6 is a lot smaller, much more portable, still very, very powerful, does not have the bigger screen, does not have M1 in it, but still a great freaking value and still more than powerful for most people. That's what it really boils down to is which one do you prefer? I don't think you could go wrong with either. Now that that's out the way, did y'all notice in this video, I did not use any B-roll? How do y'all feel about that? Do you even care? Let me know down in the comments and also let me know what your preference is when it comes to these two tablets. Which one of these bad boys do you prefer? Till next time, I'm losing my voice. I'm gonna get out of here. Peace and chicken grease. Much love. Terry Warfield. Peace.